Hey everyone, welcome back to Triple R Reefer. Been a minute. I've uh, been on vacation, but we have been doing things. So I have not had a chance to make any videos. And uh, just now got a chance to go ahead and, and hopefully get one to y'all. Hopefully it's of decent quality. I apologize, my T5s are off and it's towards the end of the the uh, light schedule, so you're going to get somewhat of dark colors. Um, but they look good. Got a little pop. Uh, so just wanted to do <clears throat> just a quick update, I guess. Um, kind of some things that are going on and some plans for the future. Um, and I'm also going to touch on ick. Uh, I feel like it's something that uh, I've seen a few videos that have been very uh, annoying to watch uh, with some of the details that uh, have come from those. And I want to at least give my two cents and what I believe and hopefully help you all make right decisions when it comes to dealing with ick. Y'all can see what I see on this camera when it loads because damn is it pretty. Look at these. Pretty. What in the world is that noise? <clears throat> Alright. So uh so the update, let's see here. First of all, uh, I got this long nose hawkfish. Man, that's a cool fish. That's a cool fish. And I just noticed a mark on my on the side of him as I'm looking at that. Got my battle wound. Damn, I hope he's okay. Uh if you notice his belly is pretty fat. Let's go around here so you can see him. Look at that chunky boy. Come on. Wow. What to focus. Jesus. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, my camera has decided just to not focus. So, anyway, trust me, he fat. All right. Uh, got him. Uh, I've been dealing with uh, trying to get some replacement fish. And I have not had good luck. Uh, FedEx a few times screwed up and uh, didn't get, get to me in time. And actually today... Um, I had one package held for me, and uh, they all came in looking, well, two of them are dead, and one of them was barely alive, and uh, the other package was just shipped. It didn't get held at the at the uh, FedEx terminal, and <clears throat> he was just, he was DOA. So I got some more fish coming, but uh, you know, unfortunately... It has not been good luck for me, or especially the fish. And I'm trying to do everything I can, you know, ice packs and stuff, making sure they all know, hey, it's 100 degrees here. Uh, but, you know, maybe after this time I won't order any more fish for a while. Look at that homewrecker! Homewrecker pop! A guy tried to tell me homewreckers are not that, not that bright. Like, they're just a bright green. Y'all won't tell me that is not bright. That's a Walt Disney. And by no means is it crazy pretty. But good God, look at that. That's real colors. Well, in these lights. I mean, you can put this sucker on T5, white it out, and it's still got those pink poppers on it. Anyway. So, uh, I'll show you the fish real quick. Pintail is super personable. Look at that belly. I feed these fish a lot. Uh, this is one of the fish. And let me take this lens off. Oh, God dang. All right. Well, not set up for that setting uh, for down here on this light. But um, anyway, he may make it. If he does, he's got a home somewhere else because <laughs> I ordered. Let me get out of this light. I ordered three. Leopard rasses. Well, that is a leopard rass, but that's a blue star leopard. That's not what I ordered. 
Ritzy reefers hinges are garbage. Uh, anyway, so if he makes it, he'll be uh, he'll be getting a new home, and because uh, it's not the fish I need, I already got one. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? Um, I think I got some. I think I got another torch, which is this guy here. It's not that pretty. It came in looking like terribleness, looking better now, but still not great. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a Rasta, but it is, I don't think so. I mean, I gotta show what the tentacles are. Anyway, but I got a Rasta coming, a for sure Rasta. Um, I did have to do a little puttying on these rocks of falling, a little putty in here. Uh, I can't remember the name of that putty, but damn, it's good. It's a two-part, uh, I want to say it's the Toons putty, uh, or a po uh, yeah, po epoxy, whatever. Anyway, that stuff is great. It's the coral gum, but man, it cures fast, and it doesn't get all in your hands and make them nasty. It, ju it does the job, I'll tell you right now. If you need to put some rocks together, that's a good one to use. Uh, man, that's all I can think of. I bought some more corals. They're not going to ship till I get back from my other, my next trip, going on a little vacation. And then I'll do another video. I frag my, which you can't see because this lighting is terrible. I frag my Matt V Rainbow Envy two times. Because the first time, I dropped the frag in the rocks. I've never done that. I've proud of myself, been like, hey, man, y'all dummies dropping, you know, $100 frags in the rocks. And I did it. Actually, I didn't drop it. The damn, I came across the MP40 and it knocked it out. Whatever, I dropped it. Anyway, shot out my tweezers. Added this little rock here. I'm gonna try to grow some zoas on there. I got uh, some others I need to put on that rock. I've just been being lazy. Uh, had a few urchins die. I don't. I, I rehomed a bunch, but I just I've run out of algae. These tangs have been doing work and uh so anyway that's about it for the, the reef itself everything is looking pretty hot growing good put some covers on the mp40s because i didn't want these fish getting sucked up and shredded so let's get on to ick okay um uh, first and foremost um, the thing I heard that just absolutely irked me look at that belly um, if you go bare bottom you have less chance of having an egg let me just tell you something that's absolutely stupid and, and is not true okay I don't care what anyone says it can stick to anything okay the glass at the bottom of your tank it will stick to that it don't need sand um, most quarantine tanks don't have sand in them. You ever see it just go away? Nope. Um, that's stupid, and I hope no one believes that. So if you're, you know, if you're, if you have a reef tank, and you're like, hey, my fish got egg, well, I'll just take the sand out, cure everybody. Um, that ain't gonna work. That's not how that works. God, that, oh, that irked me to death. Uh, just people spouting off just random crap with no proof other than just anecdotal, you know, their thought. Man, that's just not how this hobby should be, you know? Uh, especially with something that's serious. Um, I don't think ick is something that is crazy serious, but, uh, I mean, you can wipe some fish out. I've managed it before. really wasn't terrible for me but i've lost fish to egg too so i've seen it both ways it just depends on how how bad it gets uh, so anyway um three ways to deal with egg okay three ways or really four one is management you can just manage egg and i'll tell you the only ways i could think that you should manage egg is through um a uv and uh, in vitamin dose in your your fish's food, 
feeding them heavy, basically, keeping their immune system up. Uh, they will build, build an immunity. Uh, I mean, they'll still have flare-ups with stress. Um, you still risk your new fish getting it and dying. I mean, it ain't perfect. But uh, so there's that. So then there's uh, copper. Copper, for the most part, is great. Um, it's hard on fish sometimes, but, you know, I've seen fish that you're not supposed to use copper on do just fine. Um, I used copper power whenever I was using copper. Uh, most of the wrasses seem to tolerate it a little bit better. But anyway, that's one, copper. These are the ways I know will cure it, by the way. Copper, uh, hyposalinity. Hyposalinity, I've never done. It's, to me, it's just too, there's too broad a range for error. You know, you're off one day of topping off or, or adding too much water and that salinity goes out of whack. Well, you gotta start over to be sure and so that's, that's another way. The other way, which is my preferred method, is uh, the tank transfer method. And specifically, I like the hybrid tank transfer method. Um, number one, the, the hybrid tank transfer method takes care of uh, both ick and velvet and flukes. So um, it's really, really easy to do. Uh, to me, it's the best, it's the least stress on your fish. Um, moving your fish from one tank to another tank. Look at that. Oh, I don't know if you can see him. My beta came out. Hardly ever see that marine beta. <coughs> so, anyway, um, you just transfer your fish um, from, a, from their old tank to the new tank. You just make sure that your tank is clean when you're going to transfer them back over. And then in between that, you're going to do uh, hydrogen peroxide baths um, very simple, 30 minutes, and I did every single fish you could think of in this hydrogen peroxide. Mandarins, wrasses, tangs, everything, and every one of them did just fine. No problems. Multiple fish, 15, 20 fish at a time. So uh, believe me when I say it's safe. Uh, Humble Fish, uh, his website, he's got the directions how to do that exactly. I'm kind of painting with a broad brush here so if you want to know how to do it uh, go to his website look up hybrid tank transfer method um, I also recommend if you're going to use that to have a, a small period where you watch the fish to make sure no uh, symptoms pop back up afterwards um, so anyway that's my preferred method I think it's the best it's the least stressful um, you don't got to worry about meds you don't got to worry about salinity you're just moving fish from one tank to another and cleaning the downside is you're going to use a lot of salt water. Um, this work, but that's also why I say buy quarantine fish. Buy fish already quarantined. Trust me, it is the way to go. I spoke about it in that other video. You know, you buy a fish that's a $60 fish. Quarantine it dies. Buy it again, 60 bucks. Try to quarantine it and it dies. Maybe buy it one more time. I'll try again. And it dies. You just spent 180 bucks. That same fish is probably $100 quarantined. And you hadn't had to spend any money on quarantine equipment, work. Fish goes right in your tank. You're good to go. Just, it's the way. I'm telling you. Buy a quarantine fish. So far, Ocean Devotion, Marine Collectors, TSM, those have been my three of the four that I've been most pleased with. Uh, Dr. Reeves quarantine fish, he's been very good, uh, but I've had the most issues <clears throat> out of his uh, shipments. So, um, yeah, it may just be the luck uh, of it, but he's actually a preferred vendor on Humble Fish website. But anyway, Adam at Ocean Devotion has been killer. All right, that's a long enough video, damn little update I got a few more videos uh, I'm gonna put out with some better hopefully better quality than this crap and uh, with better timing on the lighting coming soon so y'all just bear with me I really appreciate everyone subscribing uh, that's it's been hard to get people to subscribe to your channel man that's 
uh, I really respect everybody that's uh, got channels with a lot of uh, subscribers. You know, I want to get to a thousand. That's my goal, and I'm gonna keep putting videos out, and I'm gonna hit a thousand. It may take me longer than I want, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So if y'all will help me with that, I would really appreciate it. And that's all for this video here. Thank y'all for watching.